good morning friends uh, then uh, next is uh, methods of corrosion control so last part of that unit is protective coating so we are going to see three types of coatings first is a metallic coating non metallic coating and third c is powder coating so before uh, coating we have to prepare the surface of the metal so these are the three steps uh, we are going to carry out that is removal of grease and other contaminants second is removal of oxide layer and corrosion product then third is etching treatment for better adhesion or coat so first step removal of grease and other contaminants so that can be done by first solvent cleaning and then alkali cleaning so solvent cleaning is used to remove grease fatty substance naphtha ccl4 toluene xylene acetone etc can be used for the removal of grease and fatty substances that can be followed by the cleaning with steam and hot water so we are going to use organic chemicals or organic solvent for solvent cleaning then alkali cleaning that can be used for removing oil or old paints for example tri sodium phosphate along with soap and caustic soda it is followed by finishing with water treatment water and treatment with the mild acid so that is alkali cleaning so these are the two steps which is included in the removal of grease and other contaminants then second removal of oxide layer or corrosion product so that can be done by three ways in the three ways that is mechanical cleaning that is removing loose rust and other impurities by chisel and scraper then flame cleaning the surface is heated with hot flame to remove moisture and scales followed by brushing and sand blasting used to remove oxide layer and for gating rough surface the process involves introducing sand into air stream under pressure of 25 to 100 atmosphere pressure so that means first is mechanical cleaning means we are going to use chisel and scraper for removing loose dust and impurities flame cleaning is used for the removal of moisture and scale and sand blasting is used for the removal of oxide layer and gating rough surface and last step for the surface preparation is etching treatment for better adhesion so in order to achieve better adhesion of metallic coating pickling method is used it involves immersing metal in acid or alkali to provide clean smooth surface for electrode deposition so these are the three steps which is going to be carried out during the surface preparation so metallic coatings are of two types so there is question in the exam which what are the, what is the metallic coating what are the types which is preferred and why so there are two types of metallic coating one is anodic coating second is cathodic coating so anodic means the base metal sorry the coating metal is highly above less than base metal that is anodic coating in case of cathodic coating the coating metal is placed below the base metal that is cathodic coating and which is preferred that is anodic coating is preferred because you can see if there is crack between the coating metal and there is the electrolyte then the base metal will be acting as cathode and coating metal will be acting as anode so the corrosion of the coating metal it takes place and prevention of the base metal will be there so until there is the coating metal there will be the prevention of the base metal in the case of cathodic coating there will be uh, coat uh, there will be prevention till there is coating on the base metal once the coating is break or ruptured and water droplet is coming or electrolyte is there then there will be prevention of the base metal at it, as it will be acting as anode and coating metal will be acting as cathode then uh, there is a difference between anodic coating and cathodic coating so as i said the coating metal is placed at higher position in the galvanic series than base metal 
सो फॉर दैट यू मस्ट रिमेम्बर द गैलवनिक सीरीज इन केस ऑफ कैथोलिक कोटिंग कोटिंग मेटल इज प्लेस एट लोअर पोजिशन इन द गैलवनिक सीरीज दैन द बेस मेटल एनोडिक कोटिंग बेस मेटल रिमेन्स सेफ एज लॉन्ग एज कोटिंग मेटल प्रेजेंट ऑन द बेस मेटल एज कोटिंग रक्चर देन कैथोलिक मेटल कैथोलिक कोटिंग बेस मेटल अंडर गो करोजन इफ कोटिंग रक्चर टू प्रोड्यूस हिट्स एंड फैट्स एंड थर्ड पॉइंट कैथोलिक कोटिंग इज प्रेफर्ड एनोडिक कोटिंग इज लेस प्रेफर्ड सो फर्स्ट मेथड ऑफ मेटलिक कोटिंग इज हॉट डिपिंग मीन्स वी आर गोइंग टू डीप द बेस मेटल इन द मोल्टन सोल्यूशन ऑफ द अदर मेटल दैट मीन्स फॉर गैल्वनाइजिंग वी आर गोइंग टू यूज जिंक मोल्टन जिंक which is kept as 420 degree celsius for tinning we are going to use tin which is kept as 239 degree celsius so we are going to clean the article first by acid cleaning then water cleaning then we are going to dip that base metal or article or iron sheet in the molten liquid or molten metal solution so this is first galvanizing that is anodic coating so see the diagram so this is molten zinc which is kept at 425 to 450 degree celsius it is covered with the flux that is mh4cl then the uh, clean hot, clean iron sheet is dipped in the molten solution then it is coming out and it is passed through the roller because we want to remove the excess of zinc and there will be uniform coating of the zinc so that is galvanization the definition is coating of the zinc on steel or iron sheet so procedure you can see article is cleaned with the h2so4 and then water and then dried then passed through the molten zinc which is kept at the temperature 425 to 450 degrees celsius the surface is covered with nh4cl then pass through the rollers to remove excess zinc so see why the surface is covered with nh4 seal the reason is that that and this is in the molten form and oxygen is present in the atmosphere so zinc will react with the oxygen and the coating will be having uh, metal oxide plus metal so for the prevention of oxidation of this molten zinc that nh4 cl flux is used then uses Used for roofing sheets, pipes, bolts, screws, tubes, and buckets. So this is the galvanizing and types of anodic coating. One example. So zinc is placed above the iron metal in the galvanic series. That's why it is called as anodic coating. Next is tinning. So it is the example of cathodic coating, and uh, the tin is coated on the iron sheet. That is called as tinning so the molten tin is kept as 240 degree celsius so you can see the procedure the clean article is passed through the molten tin solution which is kept as 240 degree celsius and then through palm oil it protects the tin coating against corrosion the sheet are passed through the rollers to remove excess of zinc so see the diagram so flux is there the molten tin then it is passing through palm oil so flux is used for the uh, oxidation prevention of oxidation of the molten tin and palm oil is used for the better adhesion of tin and uh, for the protection of the metal from further corrosion and it is passed through the roller to remove excess of tin and to get the uh, even coating on the tin what are the uses so first use for container for storing food stuff ghee oil and kerosene so that is tinning thank you